What's up family? Welcome to another video. Today we have Sim. What is keto? And why should we care? Here we go. Take it away, Sim. What is keto? Okay, your body can use different fuel sources. The most common one, the one we use by default, is glucose that is found in carbohydrates such as potatoes, rice and vegetables. The second one is fat. You know that extra layer of blubber around your waistline. Fat can also be derived from food and it gets deposited in our adipose tissue as backup fuel. To convert these macronutrients into energy or ATP, they must first enter the metabolic furnace of our cells called the Krebs cycle. When glucose goes in, out comes pyruvate. When fat goes in, it creates a ketone body acetoacetate which gets converted further into acetone and beta-hydroxybutyrate. The ketogenic diet is a low-carb, high-fat diet that puts you into a metabolic state of ketosis and makes your body use fat and ketones as its primary fuel source. But what's so special about it? Why would you want to try keto? I'm going to give you three main reasons. First off, more energy. The difference between pyruvate and ketone bodies is that ketones have more electrons and they can produce up to 25% more energy. That's not just 1% better, but 25% better. How about that? Fat is calorically more dense than carbohydrates and therefore provides your body and brain with stable energy for longer. This also reduces hunger levels to close to zero. In ketosis, you're tapped into your own body fat and will thus have access to energy 24-7. Secondly, mental clarity. You've probably been in a situation where you're trying to focus on something, but you can't because you just get distracted or hungry. This is your brain telling you that it's starting to run low on energy. Our brain comprises less than 5% of our body weight but demands up to 20% of our total caloric expenditure. It's a hungry beast. Eating carbs will re-establish normal blood sugar levels and you'll be focused again, but only until you'll reach another low point. The brain is actually made up of 60% fat and runs a lot better on ketones. On a fat burning engine, your brain will be constantly satiated and you'll be in the zone all the time. Thirdly, a well-formulated ketogenic diet can improve your overall health. It has been shown to be very effective against high blood sugar, high blood pressure, diabetes and cholesterol. If you eat the right foods, you'll also reduce inflammation, which fixes aching joints, improves gut health and removes brain fog. These are but the fraction of all the benefits of keto. You can clearly feel the difference once you've tried it out. So, how do you get into ketosis? The problem is that our body is wired to run on glucose. We just love those carbs and cake because they're easy to store as fat and that's what you'd want if you were a caveman. You need to go through a period of adaptation where your body doesn't have access to glucose so you'll be forced to start burning fat. The approximate macronutrient ratios for ketosis are less than 5-10% to carbohydrates which is around 30 to 50 grams, 15 to 25 percent protein, and 70 to 80 percent fat. Basically, eat only leafy green vegetables like cabbage, kale, broccoli, and cauliflower, moderate protein like meat, chicken, eggs, sardines, salmon, and of course bacon, and a boatload of fat like avocados, olives, butter, coconut oil, cheese, nuts, and seeds. But you also have to be careful not to consume the wrong types of foods that would keep you out of ketosis. Don't eat refined carbs, potatoes, processed meats, vegetable oils or fruit. The adaptation phase takes about two to three weeks during which you may feel slightly tired and confused. But after your brain adapts to ketones, you'll get access to unlimited power. I want to thank Brandon for having me on his channel once again and make sure to check out my own channel not only for more information about keto but also for other videos about similar ways of improving your physical and mental performance. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. My name is Seem and stay empowered.